All right, let's wrap up this review with these last few problems. Problem 27 wants us to convert the following degree measure to radian measure. You need to know the formula or the convention for doing this. So if I want to convert degree to radian, I'm going to multiply by pi over 180 degrees. Because it's pi over 180, because I want to cancel the degree marks and be left with my pi radian mark. Okay, now I need to do some reducing. So reduce 135 and 180, simplify it, in other words, and we get, heck, let me just pull the calculator up. Let me clear that out, and let's go 135 divided by 180. That'll give us that, and then we can go to math fraction, if you didn't realize, but it was 3 fourths. So, 3 pi over 4 radians is the same thing as 135 degrees. 3 pi over 4. All right, so now let's take a radian measure and convert it to a degree measure. Well, to do that, I'm going to multiply, instead of by pi over 180, I'm going to multiply by 180 over pi because in this case, I want my pi's to cancel out, so they have to be across from each other. So let's just do the math here. I'm going to have 8 times 180 gives me that. Then I'm going to divide that by 5, and I'm looking at an angle of negative 288. Negative 288 degrees. 29. I'm wanting to find an exact value, so that means what? Unit circle. And so I want the exact value of cosecant of 5 pi over 3. So let's go to the unit circle, and let's find 5 pi over 3. Where is 5 pi over 3? Do you see it? There we go. There's 5 pi over 3, and our ordered pair for 5 pi over 3 is a 1 half, a negative square root of 3 over 2. 1 half, negative square root of 3 over 2. Okay, and cosecant is the inverse or the reciprocal of sine. So the sine of 5 pi over 3 would be the y coordinate. But since I want the reciprocal, it's going to be 1 over y. Okay? So 1 over the negative square root of 3 over 2, I need to invert and multiply. It becomes 1 times 2 over the negative square root of 3. Well, that's just negative 2 over the square root of 3. But you have to do what? rationalize that denominator. So I end up with a negative 2 square root of 3 all over 3. Let's jump down now to problem 34 because I told you to skip some. So we're going to jump down to 34. Ooh, it says exact value of the following. That tells me Mr. Unit Circle. So I'll go find pi over 3 on my unit circle and find the sine of pi over 3. And remember that the sine is the y-coordinate. So where is pi over 3? All right, here's pi over 3. The sine is the y-coordinate, so it's just the square root of 3 over 2. That was easy. Uh, next one I want to look at is 36. Whoops. Okay, we want to find all the values of S, and S is actually an angle. You see it's sine S. But in this case, I want to find all the values in the interval of 0 to 2 pi. That means my values of S are going to be in that radian measure, not degree measure. So I want to find all the angles S 
where sine of s is equal to, equal to a negative one-half. And remember that sine is the y-coordinate. So I'm going to go to the unit circle and find all the angles that have a y-coordinate of a negative one-half. So all the y-coordinates that have a, uh, what did I say? All the y-coordinates that are a negative one-half. All right, so I'm looking at y coordinates that are an up. Oh, there's one right there. That y coordinate's a negative one half. This y coordinate is a negative one half. And so I need to state those angles in radian measure. So my radian measure would be 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. quite easily done. I wish you the best on your test. I will not be there on Wednesday when you take your exam. There'll be a substitute. When you're taking your exam, you can use your calculator only. You will be given a circle chart to use, uh, but you can't use any notes and you can't work together. So good luck on the test. I'll see you when I get back.